Hey folks, welcome to CS 2023. I'm here at the Lenovo briefing with a phone called the Think Phone. Which is a collaboration of Moto, of course, and Lenovo. And it's basically kind of to bring the ThinkPad product, you know, the kind of enterprise business product to the phone world. And so, you know, we're all familiar with the ThinkPad. Right. And so this phone, I want to walk you through some of the specs and some of the features. This is a pretty high end phone. We don't have pricing or availability yet, but I expect this uh, to come out in a few months. So uh, let's start with the back. As you can see, there's a bunch of cameras here. One of them says 50 megapixels. And uh, indeed, there's an F over 1.8 50 megapixel sensor with quad pixel technology and OIS. That means it's pixel binning four to one. And then we have a 13 megapixel ultra wide, 120 degree field of view. It has autofocus for macro purposes. It's f02.2, 1.12 microns. So that's pretty nice. Um, you know, and then I don't know what the third lens does. I think it's a depth sensor according to the spec sheet, but I'm not 100% sure. And of course, a flash. And then you see that texture here. This is like a weaved kind of uh, Kevlar type material that's very, very strong, stronger than steel, actually. So as you can see, it's it's going to look very much like a ThinkPad. If you look at the ThinkPad, the cover is usually not this one, but usually you've got that kind of weave on them. And in the sides, the rails are aluminum. This is an aluminum frame. And you've noticed right away, there's this red button kind of like mimics the trackpad. But of course, it doesn't do anything for tracking. It is a programmable button you can have it do something like when you push once when you hold it when you push twice and you know even use as a push to talk button if you're on like a factory floor and you want to communicate with your microsoft teams team and so this is the left side the right side has your usual volume rocker power lock key and of course you can see that there's some antenna bands embedded here because it's a metal frame got a speaker usb type c a microphone and the sim slot here and then that's on the bottom and the top here is just a secondary mic and some antenna bands that's pretty typical of a kind of a high-end phone now the display is kind of the star of the show here in a way because it's is a very little bezel, very uniform, right? Even if I pull down here, you can see the bezels are pretty much the same all around. And it is a 6.6 inch plastic OLED display. It's got a 1080p resolution, of course. And uh, you can see there's a whole punch camera here in the front. Um, this is a 32 megapixel with autofocus, which is interesting. F over 2.4 aperture and 0.7 micron pixels. It also does four to one pixel binning for better quality and low light. Now you'd expect a phone that's designed for use in business to have a long battery life. And you know, this won't disappoint. It's 5,000 milliamp hour, despite, as you can see, being pretty thin, right? So you got a nice big battery in here. And more importantly, it charges at 68 watt with a universal charger that's PD compliant, USB-C. So this will also charge a ThinkPad computer like this. And you don't have to bring a bigger charger with you if you want to be on the go and charge all your devices, which is a nice little touch. You know, we've seen this from other companies, but it's nice to see, you know, as a kind of like extra bonus on this particular phone. Now, other specs, you know, it's not big, like 6.6 .6 inches doesn't make it a huge phone, but it's also not super small. So it's kind of more mid-size in terms of screen size and feel in hand. But, you know, because of these rails here, it feels actually pretty nice. It's got a bit of a taper on the edges here, but not too much. And uh, this this Kevlar type finish is really nice. Moto has used this on other phones before, and I really, really like it. And of course, you get that thing phone branding, which is really cool. And the weave actually kind of continues in the camera pod behind there, if you look carefully. So processor, this is a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, which is what I mean when I say this is kind of a flagship spec phone, right? It's not the latest 8 Plus Gen 1, but you're getting a lot of oomph out of that processor and you can get it with eight or 12 gigs of RAM and 128, 256 or 512 gigs of storage. Now, I don't think this has micro SD support, but you know what? I don't think that's going to be a big problem for most of the users. I also has stereo speakers. That's one of the speakers down here, but the earpiece at the top is also a speaker and it supports Dolby Atmos. So that's actually really nice to have for a phone that's kind of more of a business phone to actually get some good audio. I mean, you'd think that for voice calls, that'd be important, but they're not skimping on also the media experience, the entertainment experience, which I think is very cool. Of course, this is a phone that has 5G, right? Because of Snapdragon chip. 
And more importantly, this has mil-spec durability standards, meaning that you can drop it and it'll probably survive a spill even onto concrete. It has Victus glass in the front with this stronger than steel Kevlar kind of back. It's going to be pretty rugged fall on the back. And of course, you have the aluminum frame, which is also designed for that. So that's actually pretty cool. You know, you don't see that on a phone that usually doesn't look like a rugged phone. So that's actually a nice thing to have. So yeah, that's a basically a quick look at the Moto ThinkPhone or the Lenovo ThinkPhone here at CS 2023. And I honestly am really looking forward to this phone. I'm not personally a huge ThinkPad user, but I appreciate their laptops. They're always really well specced and durable and high quality and always hit all the boxes. And now they're bringing this to the phone world. So for those of you who want kind of like the Moto experience in terms of software, we all know their software is one of the best for Android. You know, you can get that now on this phone. And on top of that, you get seamless integration with Windows 10 and Windows 11, whether you have a ThinkPad or another Windows machine, because they're using some of that technology that lets you copy the clipboard over automatically. If you take a photo with this phone, it automatically ends up on your computer's clipboard if you have the two devices paired through the special software. I can stream this app right onto my computer. So now I have my calendar that I you know, know and love and put it directly onto the PC and can put my phone to the side. If I have things like text, text messaging with colleagues, I can pull that up on my screen as well. Really any app that I want to include, I can pair it over to my PC. Another unique capability is the, um, the ability to have the unified clipboard. So what this does is that it allows me to, let's say, take a picture of a product or prototype that I'm working on in a project, and let's say I want to drop that into a quick presentation. All I have to do is pull up that presentation, and with Unified Clipboard, this image is already copied, so I, all I have to do is hit Control V on my PC, and you see that image pop up. So if I'm at CES Exhibition, I can go around taking photos of the exhibition and pop it right into a presentation seamlessly. It also works with text, so if I get an email coming in from a new contact on my PC, I can copy that text on the PC and then go to my mobile phone and paste it right into the contacts, all working on that Unified Clipboard. Another element is the uh, webcam feature. So if I'm working in Microsoft Teams and I want to take a webcam and I want to take a survey of the, the landscape I'm in in the room or at, at exhibition space, I can open up the webcam directly from the PC using my mobile phone. And now my mobile phone is working as the webcam and I can go across the exhibition space, take pictures of the space, or I can also uh, take a picture of a whiteboard that I'm working on, and then now the virtual meeting has all that in great view. Another key aspect to note is that um, we've also partnered with Microsoft. So what that gives us is the ability to have loaded apps for the Microsoft 365 suite all on the device at launch. And that is kind of a little detail that I think is going to make a lot of difference for productivity for people. So there you go, folks. Again, quick look at the Think Phone here at CS 2023. Stay tuned for more videos and please like, subscribe, tell your friends, click the little bell below and comment below. Tell me, is this a phone you would pick over, say, a Moto Edge of some kind? I'd love to hear that.